Good evening, my name is Matt Metter, and tonight we're going to be investigating the successive approximation model. Before getting into just the dissection of the particular model in general, I uh, would like to go over some causation for why SAM came about. Now there's multiple instructional design models that are out there today. You can access these from instructionaldesigncentral.net or instructionaldesign.org or any variants of, of, of college or university site. Uh, that has an instructional design program, particularly with educational technology, so on and so forth. So for the causation, there's two fundamental model frameworks that are out there right now. One being ADDIE. Uh, and, and, and with ADDIE, as far as ADDIE is concerned, we're looking at uh, the being able to analyze, design, develop, implement, and evaluate. Well, ADDIE has been the dominant framework for many, many years. Uh, and, and continues to be a dominant framework for uh, instructional designers uh, around, here in the United States and around the globe. Um, notice that it is a step-down program um, where you go from one phase back to, you know, down to design to develop, implement, and evaluate. It is tedious. Um, although it has been tested through time, it is tedious to a sense. And so, hence, this would be the causation for other models to come out. One of those being the, uh, the successive approximation model. So there are some criteria that's involved with the su successive, uh, successive approximation model, excuse me. Um, the first two uh, would be the iterative and collaborative. And of course, moving into that third criterion being effective, you want to make sure that this stuff is effective. And then of course, you want to make sure that it's also manageable. So to highlight a little more on the iterative and the collaborative, and look at, let's, let's look at the iterative uh, slide uh, for a moment. Notice that these slides are from um, the Leaving Addy for SAM uh, demonstration or presentation. Uh, this is used with permission by alleninteractions.com. Uh, and this, this is basically the forefront of the project itself. So it, as far as iterative is concerned, these are blocks. And of course, it's, it's a step down approach. And it, it can also step back up for that matter. But it is repetition. Um, you want to make sure that this stuff is done quickly. It, it, you're basically given the, the unveiling of a product, that prototype that's coming out. Hence the text of this particular slide. You're basically you're revealing or, again, unveiling uh, the developing product. And you want to make sure that you hit that early and you hit that continuously. The second criterion, obviously, being this is a collaborative uh, model uh, and very, very successful as far as being a collaborative piece. But with the, that collaboration, you're starting to get ideas moving, you're getting opinions going, you're getting experiences uh, going, you know, shared back and forth. And of course, that knowledge is being shared with people. And of course, value is now uh, being put out there uh, and is starting to build uh, the relationships. And of course, again, I, I, as mentioned, we talked about that third criterion being effective. You want to hit that mark. Uh, you're not just shooting out there in the dark. If you if you have a, a, a handful of paint and you throw it against the wall, uh, you know, if it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it doesn't, get back to the drawing board and figure out how to get the paint to stick back to the wall. That's the effectiveness. So it's those best learning experiences, and we're going to highlight that as far as best, best learning experiences. And of course, again, within those given constraints. And last but not least, the fourth criterion is, in fact, something that's manageable. <clears throat> be realistic. Don't be unrealistic about this stuff. Um, and notice that on this slide right here, it does go into a notebook, and it's a checklist. The checklist work. Um, you know, task management is a big, big deal uh, in, in, in regards to this model. So here is an uh, identifiable model of SAM-1. It is a start and end process, but you have uh, th that circle that, that, that constantly evolves around or revolves around, and it's that develop, evaluate, and design. And then, of course, we're moving into the SAM-2, and SAM-2 is now where uh, we really start to push into uh, <clears throat> some bigger and more 
I would say meatier projects here um, as far as uh, criteria and maybe length. But as far as SAM2 is concerned, it is the three-phase process looking from preparation to iterative design phase up to iterative development phase. Starting with the preparation, you go into the background, you're trying to collect as much information as possible. That's the information gathering, moving into that savvy start. You're collectively and collaboratively get with your team and you're discussing and you're brainstorming how to start the prototyping process, which leads us into the iterative design phase. And in that phase, it's also made up of two steps, which would be project planning and additional design. That's where the budget starts to come, meld together. That's where you're working with subject matter experts. You're working with people uh, that work in those function areas that have to deal with your project. You're, you're communicating with, with management and those, those, those function leaders. And then, of course, you're designing, you're prototyping, and you're reviewing that. And it goes, if, it want, if it doesn't successfully get through the review, it goes back to the design part uh, to develop some sort of a, or to design another prototype. Moving forward with the iterative development phase, you have four steps there, design proof, alpha, beta, and gold. However, as far as the dynamic is concerned, you have that develop, implement, and evaluate section. Now, with the development, just as like it sounds, you're developing the prototype. That prototype is now moved into the draft phase. You're starting to implement that draft. And then, of course, with the implementation, you start to implement uh, the final product. And it, it has to go through that evaluation. It is assessed. If it does not meet the assessment quality of the team, it can go back to development or it can go, even go back down to the iterative design phase. That's what's so cool about this stuff. It is repetition. How to get that paint on the wall. You got a handful of paint, you throw it on the wall. Is it going to stick or is it not? If it sticks, good, it's effective. Let's continue to figure out how to make it stick. Let's figure out how to make it bigger. Uh, so on and so forth. That mentality. Design proof, that is a very, very simple process in reference to um, you know, looking at the proof. If it works, if it's, if it's going to be sustainable, let's move to alpha. In alpha, uh, you know, we, we have we have a, a, a product here. Uh, we can pass it or fail it. If it passes, it now goes to beta. We start to add additional items. We reference check it. We look at this. Um, we reference that. We look at um, these things, and then of course we move into gold phase. If the product has has successfully navigated through alpha and beta, and of course landed in gold. Once it's landed in gold, we can go to rollout. So the designers of SAM, the success of approximation model. We're looking at some designers. Dr. Michael Allen is uh, the the. The, this was kind of his brainchild. He started moving into e-learning, and and um, he started to design a couple of things on on how to make e-learning a little more effective and 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 a little more learner centric. Uh, and so uh, he had some help when he uh, ended up writing, leaving Addy for Sam. And of course, uh, Mr. Richard Seitz would be a co-author on that particular text. And as far as leaving Addy for Sam, that was the fundamental text used for this project. And so this is SAM2. SAM2 is, uh, again, what we just discussed, that preparation, iterative design phase, and, of course, the iterative development phase. So what are some outcomes? The outcomes are, in fact, uh, building with iter iterations. We talked about the four, seg the four segments that were under the development phase, the prototype, alpha, beta, and gold. So this is to give you a little additional visual. Uh, as far as the prototype, you've got something. It's 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 not necessarily tangible, but it's it's malleable, it's movable, we can put it together, we can take it apart, but it's nothing that's set in stone. It's not an alpha yet. We want to strive to get it to alpha. Once we've got it in alpha, notice that alpha is over here. Uh, it's got a little bit of information in there. It's got something that's put together, but it's nothing of, of, of just sure substance yet. So, you know, if, if, if that's the case, then we can kind of move down to beta. Look at beta. Beta has additional items that are not, that is now involved with this design. And then, of course, once it's passed, if it's met the constraints and met all the uh, met all the qualifications to get into gold, then it 
moves from alpha, beta, and now and it's ready for gold. So this is where we start to move into that, that final draft. And uh, we're getting together. We're constant collaboration with subject matter experts and other teammates uh, to get this, this, this thing going. And so this is where we're at. We're here with gold now. And keep in mind, it can be sent back. Okay, so looking at a little theory. Um, when it comes to theory, one of the things that, as far as theory and, and it, it's the success of approximation model, I like to think of context, challenge, activity, and feedback. This is another idea from alleninteractions.com. Um, again, you want to do three M's. Meaningful, motivating, and memorable. Okay, Meaningful, motivating, and memorable. Very, very fundamental, very basic stuff, simplicity at its at its finest. But context, meaningful uh, meaningful framework and of course conditions with the, as far as the challenge is concerned, there's a stimulus that's there. You want to, to, to get that, that the urgency to act. Activity, there's that physical response or the gesture. And then of course with feedback, we all like feedback, whether it's positive or negative. Some can deal with it a little better than, than others, but feedback is absolutely paramount on whether or not it is something that I need to do as far as the change, whether the team needs to do as, change, as far as change uh, to implement that change and make the product better, uh, to, to reevaluate the, the, the process on how to get the paint to stick on the wall. That's generally the gist of all this stuff. All right, as far as references are concerned, uh, I want to focus on the first three uh, texts that are up here. The middle text, leaving Addy for Sam, an agile model for developing the best learning experiences. This was the fundamental text for this, this project. Uh, so I encourage anybody that's observing this to, to really get on out there and try to get this particular text. Uh, it, it goes over Sam very, very, uh, it, it's just an in-depth uh, overview of Sam, uh, and certainly something that's worthy of a, a, a read if you're interested into uh, getting a, a additional knowledge, a knowledge base outside of the Addy model. And again, a, a special thanks to Rich Peterson of Allen Interactions. All images and slides were adopted from Allen Interactions with their permission. And of course, here we have some red uh, web resources. The very first uh, web-based resource that we have here is uh, alleninteractions.com. That is where the slides and, of course, some the images came from. Uh, and, and, and so that would be the number one go-to if one would like additional resource information, uh, even, even text information on the, the successive approximation model uh, and even the CCAF model uh, as far as um, context, challenge, uh, activity and feedback. That is where you can find information on uh, the theory and, of course, the model here. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for this evening. I hope you all learned a little something about the through the investigation of the successful approximation model. And enjoy your evening, and we'll be in touch soon. Have a good night.